Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and Space Force is back for a shorter, lower budgeted, but infinitely better, funnier, and emotional experience with Season 2 over on Netflix. I legitimately laughed a lot during all seven episodes of this season, and there's also a big tension in the show that brings some dimensions of you know, people not wanting to give up their seats, but, like, having that perspective and, like, thinking about what those connotations are. And here, the season definitely has a smaller budget. There's no, like, big space elements or anything like that, which I think is okay because they wanted to lower the budget um, of this film so that they could really do it right and look back into some of the other films and really try to incorporate who's being incorporated there's some meta humor because like one of the big storylines is their budget getting cut and you could definitely tell the budget of the film got cut since the last one so you could feel that kind of idea steve carell is so much more like michael scott in this season but so hilarious he has his serious moments he has his stern looks but like he is hilarious he's just so great you have john malkovich who's kind of mentoring uh dr uh, Ki Fang's um, Jimmy O. Yang's character. You also see him really mentoring Diana Silver's character, which is Aaron Nair, who is Steve Carell's daughter. And there's a mater uh, there's a paternal atmosphere around Malkovich in this series, in this series, in this season. And I really appreciate him and his yelling and just unhinged moments. Ben Schwartz is interesting in this season as he's struggling with, like in the first episode they take away his phone, everybody's phones, and he can't handle it and like lashes out. You introduce John Lovitz who plays his dad very briefly. And you see the layers and the baggage that he has going on. Because there's a lot of emotional moments like, you know, Gen uh, General Laird and uh, Naird deals with a very unsatisfying and sad revelation about his marriage earlier in the film. You have Ben Schwartz not only experiencing his own personal family issues, but also trying to be a wingman between uh, Tony Newsom and Jimmy O. Yang, who fall in love with each other in this season, and they're both struggling with th what they want out of this relationship, but also where they are in terms of life and in the context of things, because like, they know each other, and you have these two characters really trying to figure out where they want to go with things, because especially Captain Ali went through so much trauma, and she's struggling with so many things and trying to cope with it. I thought that was a pretty interesting episode, if, they, if we would have gotten a chance to like really sit and flesh it out. And in the end, you have some fun new additions. You have Tim Meadows right out of the White House. You have Terry Crews, who joins the council with, like, Patrick Warburton and Jane Lynch and all those really hilarious actors who get very minimal moments to shine, but when they are, they do shine. And when it really comes down to it, this is a fantastic cast of characters. They've developed and added depth to all of them, and it's fun, it's enjoyable, and, you know, I was laughing from start to finish of this season, so I was very happy of being able to check this one out. But those are my thoughts on Season 2 of Space Force. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.